the birth of Chinese apparel centered around agrarian civilizations. Hanfu, or Han Chinese clothing, in the format of a robe as an upper garment with a skirt as the lower garment, had long been established over 3,000 years ago. The upper garment denotes heaven, while the lower garment earth, expressing reverence toward heaven, earth, and the universe. The clothes were made to accentuate a person's spirit, trait, and poise. Under the influence of Confucianism, traditional Chinese clothing was further embedded with ritualistic connotations. With different styles, colors, and patterns for different statuses and occasions. More than 70 craft processes go into making traditional Chinese clothing, including printing, dyeing, weaving, and embroidering. For example, this Qing Dynasty bright yellow silk gauze imperial court robe of Emperor Qianlong marks the pinnacle of Chinese embroidery. It has a total of 43 embroidered gold dragons outlined in gold thread. In contrast to the concept in Chinese clothing, Western clothing's mainstream since the 12th century Gothic era up till now has been to highlight the outline of the human form, favoring a form-fitting cut. Fitted apparel features tight-fit clothing, drape cuts, exposed silhouettes, and outgoing styles, showcasing the human body's features to the fullest. Since ancient Greece, Western clothing has emphasized body shapes. For instance, the Greek chitin was made with the human body's golden section. Throughout their development and evolution, Chinese and Western clothing continually blend and feed off the advantages of each style. Through the Silk Road, Chinese silk entered the West. Influenced by Western clothing, a trend of women dressed as men also appeared during the Tang Dynasty. Through mutual exchange and learning, Chinese and Western clothing became greater than the sum of its parts.